It's day 250 since the first case of COVID-19 was reported in the country and the cases have continued to soar, crossing the 75,000 mark. This after 1,048 new cases were reported today, while 19 more people succumbed to the virus. This as the Council of Governors announced tough measures aimed at curbing the spread of coronavirus. This include enforcement of no mask, no service order, which will take effect starting next week in all national and county offices. Chemutai Goin reports. The COVID-19 curve in the country continues to rise to dangerous levels. 250 days since the first case was reported, a total 75,193 cases have been confirmed. In the last 24 hours, accounting for 1,048 new infections and 19 deaths, pushing the death toll to 1,349. And with an established community transmission pushing the number of infections in the devolved units even higher, the Ministry of Health shifted responsibilities to county governments to manage their jurisdictions. And as such, the 16th Extraordinary Summit by the Council of Governors resolved to institute stringent measures to contain the spread of the virus. All county governments will embark on a rigorous civic education campaign dubbed No Mask, No Service. Pila Parokoa Hakuna Huduma. Beginning Monday, the 23rd, November 2020, Tuesday, 24th, November, County Emergency Response Committee at the counties launched the joint enforcement of the Ministry of Health COVID-19 COVID protocols. County Emergency Response Committee is also expected to next week Tuesday review the COVID-19 situation in the respective units and announce specific measures that will be imposed. Counties that have increasingly recorded high numbers facing possible lockdown. You know the problems differ from one county to the other. Uh, it cannot be uniform. It's not a straight jacket. So we are hopeful that those meetings will be able to resolve the specific issues. The spike in the number of infections having literally overrun the existing medical facilities. Counties now require to up their game, with many patients now requiring constant oxygen supply. Over the next few weeks, the devolved units are expected to boost their capacity of their oxygen reservoir tanks to allow the extension of oxygen supply to at least 50 beds in each isolation facility. Further, the governors resolved to increase the availability of portable oxygen in all level four hospitals. In a bid to forestall a looming strike by healthcare workers, the governors have also agreed to engage the medics on the issue of providing them with comprehensive medical cover. Who can come and parade those beds and take them away? While questions continue to abound on the preparedness level of the devolved units, the governors lament that the delayed disbursement of funds was negatively impacting the war against COVID-19. The prevailing situation escalates into the fourth month without resources. Then we may be staring at a looming shutdown of all services in the counties. With the counties on high alert, the clarion call to the public is to strictly adhere to the prescribed infection prevention measures. Chemutai Goin Citizen TV, Nairobi.